One thing that really changed the game for me was playlisting, getting my music on playlists. Now, because I got my music on so many playlists, um, I actually made a video showing you guys how I did it. I got 265,000 streams just by using playlisting. So one of the ways that I went about finding playlists was using Playlist Supply. I recently made a video not too long ago showing you guys the entire process on how to use Playlist Supply and the benefits of using it. So I'm not gonna go into that in this video, but what's dope is Playlist Supply got a new update that I really wanted to show you guys. It takes playlisting and finding playlists uh, to the next level. Because of you guys, my channel has been growing like crazy, so thank you guys. Now, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and also drop me a comment. So I'm gonna take you guys to my computer and show you guys the new update, and it really changes the game, because now you're able to see the growth of playlists. Now you're able to monitor the data, look at some analytics uh, for playlists, and this is important because a lot of the times playlists have fake followers so now being able to see uh the changes in playlists makes uh finding the right playlist really really easy all right so i just logged into playlist supply and the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a quick search so melodic techno that's my genre so uh, whatever your genre is, you can put in there. Then you can click down, you can click email, um, and then click search. Now they have many different ways of searching. You can search by emails, you can search by Instagram handle, you can search by artists, similar artists. There's just tons of ways you can search. Now the cool thing is once everything is populated, all you have to do is click these plus signs and it selects the playlist and then to add it to your playlist directory you click save to my playlist database but before we get into that let me show you something new that just popped up that's really cool now they give you the playlist owner's name um, and if you click it it sends you directly to the playlist owner's page which is actually really dope so now you don't have to go to the the playlist and then go to the playlist owners page it literally lists it right here and it lists their url and it lists the description which has their email in it so so now once i click save to my play my playlist database it adds it to my playlist database um so my playlist database you can either select here or the top right by the way guys as a bonus to this video i have written an ebook on how to get a million streams and it's all about using playlisting so if you're interested in getting my free ebook there's going to be a link under this video and it literally walk you through step by step on what you need to do to get a million streams on your song on spotify so go and download it right under this video so i have done a couple of playlists database saving already and you can see that uh, I have everything in one place um, before you would have to export into an Excel sheet but now everything is literally right here and I'm able to monitor everything by clicking the update my playlist so you're only able to update your playlist once every 24 hours so what happens when you update your playlist is it shows you the changes if the playlist has lost followers it shows you that it shows you the change um, if they gain followers it shows you the percent change as well so that's really cool because if playlists are losing hundreds of followers that means that it's probably fake so um or if they're gaining a lot of followers could be they're they're fake too so what I would suggest when using this tool is um, put all the playlists in here that you're considering and then give it a day or two and update it to see what changes has been made or what growth has happened. 
um, within that time period. And if everything looks stable and steady, then I would say it's a good playlist to go with. Now, a lot of you guys have been telling me how you've gotten uh, screwed over by playlists. This is a surefire way of not getting screwed over. You're monitoring it live and seeing what, um, what changes are happening. Playlist supply, that update is sick. Um, now I have everything in one place. And if you're not using playlist supply, I highly recommend uh, go and using the platform. Um, again, it gives you everything all in one place. And if you want to do the manual search yourself, um, you can, it takes a lot longer. Trust me, I've done it takes super super long but if you want something that speeds up the process and just gives you everything where you can start building your own database playlist supply is the way to go so I'm gonna click update my playlist but I'm sure it's not gonna work because I already updated earlier today so let's see yep you can only update once a day so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wait till tomorrow and update this uh, just so you guys can see the change that's happening. All right guys, so it's day two and I'm going to update playlist supply just to show you what happens when you click update. So, all right, let me do that. So, update my playlist. Yeah, so some of them have seen minor changes, but the point of this is to show you that you can start monitoring what's happening with the playlist that you do choose and put into your directory. Now, if you're seeing playlists get huge increases of followers overnight or, or huge decreases of followers overnight, then that is a red flag. If you're seeing minor changes, that's okay. Most playlists get minor changes like that. But again, keep an eye out for those big changes. All right guys, so I hope you found value from this video. Again, using Playlist Supply is one of the best tools I found for finding playlists and it speeds up the process like crazy. And now that you can monitor and see what's happening with each playlist, it just makes the process a lot more efficient. So if you're not using Playlist Supply, go and check it out. There's gonna be a link under this video. And if you like this video and want to keep watching more of my videos where I teach you music marketing, everything from branding to content strategies to advertising, then go and check out these videos that will pop up over here and I'll see you over there.